Hello and welcome. Let us have a little chat about the unruly tourists and expats in Thailand, shall we? These blighters come from all corners of the globe, seeking sun, sea and a bit of peace. However, peace is a rare commodity when you have got a bunch of half-baked travellers and entitled expats running amok. Stick around until the end for my personal take on this topic. With that said, let us get this video rolling. Let me start with the tourists, shall we? The ones who seem to think that Thailand is their personal playground. They are the ones who sunbathe in the nude, oblivious to the fact that they are offending the locals. They are the ones who blare their music at all hours of day and night, disturbing the peace or what little peace is available. Moreover, let us not forget the ones who think it is perfectly acceptable to bargain down the price of everything, even if it is a humble street vendor trying to make a living. They are the ones who drive like maniacs, honking their horns at anything that moves. They litter everywhere and spit on the streets as if they were back in their own filthy cities. And let us not forget the ones who think it's perfectly acceptable to shout at the locals in English as if they do not understand a word they are saying. Perhaps the most infuriating thing about these tourists and let us now include some of the expats, the long-term visitors, is their complete lack of respect for the Thai culture. They seem to think that, that just because they are foreigners, they are entitled to do whatever they want. They do not bother to learn a few basic Thai phrases, and they do not make any effort to understand the local customs. I remember one particularly egregious incident that happened many years ago. A group of tourists from Australia decided to have a wet t-shirt contest on the beach. They were completely oblivious to the fact that their actions were abusive to the local people. When a group of locals confronted them, they simply laughed it off and continued with their tasteless spectacle. It is a shame that such behaviour is so common among tourists and expats in Thailand nowadays. It is a beautiful country with a rich culture and it deserves to be treated with respect. However, as long as the, there are people who continue to behave in such disgraceful manner, I fear that Thailand's reputation as a tourist de destination will suffer. Tourists are a colourful bunch, aren't they? Always up to something. Now, let us talk about some of the more disturbing habits. First. There is the matter of the motorcycles. Oh, the motorcycles. It seems like every Tom, Dick and Harry thinks they are a Moto GP champion the moment they step off the plane. They hop on a scooter, clad in nothing more than a pair of flip-flops, short pants and a tank top, and proceed to weave in and out of the traffic like a lunatic. No helmet, no problem. No driver license, even better. It is a wonder more do not end up as roadkill. Then there are the ones who seem to think that Thailand is a giant open air toilet. They will squat or stand on the side of the road, on the beach, even in shopping malls, right in plain view of everyone and relieve themselves. It is disgusting to say the least. Furthermore, do not even get me started on the ones who think it is perfectly acceptable to litter. They will toss their trash anywhere without a second thought. Whether it is the road, sidewalks, the beach, and even in the sea, as if there is a magic cleaning fairy who will whisk it away. Moreover, let us not forget the ones who think they are above the law. They will drive drunk, they will use drugs, and they will generally behave like hooligans. It is a disgrace, really. I remember one particularly appalling incident that happened a few years ago. A group of tourists from Europe and the UK decided to have a paint party on the beach. They covered themselves in paint and proceeded to smear it all over the sand and the people around them. It was a total mess and incredibly disrespectful to the local environment. It is a shame that such 
behavior is so common among tourists in Thailand. Nowadays, this beautiful country with its rich culture deserves to be treated with respect. While Thailand's allure as a tourist haven continues to draw visitors from around the globe, the actions of a few can cast a long shadow. Disrespectful behaviors by these tourists and ex expats not only tarnishes Thailand's image, but also jeopardizes the benefits of relaxed visa policies. If such conduct continues, the government may reconsider these leniencies, potentially affecting the tourism industry. It is critical, in my humble opinion, for the government to do more to protect Thailand's renowned hospitality standards and not allow an unruly minority of visitors to tarnish their well-earned reputation. Therefore, let us all do our part to ensure that Thailand remains a welcoming and hospitable place for respectful visitors from all over the world. Let us all be respectful of the local culture, obey the laws and avoid causing any unnecessary trouble. After all, it's not that difficult, is it? What are your thoughts or experiences on the subject? Please share them in the comments below. Oh, I nearly forgot. I promised to give you my opinion. I decided to keep it short and to the point, but expect it not to be popular. So here it is. Undisciplined children grow up to be disrespectful adults. That is it for this video. Apologies if it did sound like a rant, as perhaps it was. Until my next video, goodbye. Like, share and subscribe to the channel.